This is a project update on the 1995 K3500 pickup Cummins conversion. Doing some wiring right now. I swapped over the uh, 95 power steering pump onto the 95 Chevrolet reservoir and it bolts right up. There's no issue on that. Uh, that's a 95 Cummins or Dodge Cummins uh, power steering pump. So I've got 1995 NV4500 transmission and if you do the research the 95 93 to 95 has a different case It's a Chevrolet only I believe and the input shafts and retainers are different And I had to redrill my holes for the bell housing and Before you can do that you have to install your bearing retainer first because the hole is almost perfect to fit in this and the bell housing is actually up a little farther compared to a Chevrolet on the 95 case that is and so this is possible as long as it's a 95 and you have the same gear ratios as the later models if you have the low gear version you can't do this you gotta change the gears but uh, as you can see there's a top these holes had to be matched from the old bearing retainer and these holes are not in a square shape they can only this bearing retainer can only bolt in this with this up you can't bolt it 90 degrees or 180 or so uh, yeah those holes were matched countersunk and the inside flange was milled down a little bit in a lathe so it fits good got a little play on it but I think the pilot bearing will take it up. Had a little issue with my synchronizer popping out and the detents fell out my springs and I was able I had to take the transmission out of the truck, pull my top cover off and find the springs and I was able to get them all back in without tearing the transmission apart so I was lucky. So if anyone's doing that input shaft swap, just watch out. You don't turn anything. And there's only three detents so I'm gonna I'm ordering the clutch that's coming in just a stock stock clutch nothing fancy cheap and that's it for the update thanks for watching guys